Yes, good morning, good morning, good morning once again. We give God praise and thanks that he would have awoken us and we have the privilege, the opportunity of once more being in his presence. So this morning for morning devotion, we are going to look at the book of Mark chapter 11, verse 24. Mark eleven twenty-four, 24. And we're going to consider the N E T. First of all, it tells us. Yes, it tells us in the N I T. For this reason, I tell you, whatever you pray and ask for, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Let us have a word of prayer. Thank you, dear Father, for. Uh, this opportunity once more of spending time in your presence and uh, reflecting upon your words. Even be with us now as we spend these few moments with you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. So in the King James Version, Mark eleven twenty four tells us, Therefore I see unto you what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Uh, the Zalf Ages, page 203, tells us, Do not wait to feel that you are made whole. Believe his word, and it will be fulfilled. Put your will on the side of Christ, will to serve him, and in acting upon his word, you will receive strength. Whatever may be the evil practice, the master passion, which through long indulgence bind both soul and body, Christ is able and longs to deliver. What we are seeing here, we cannot doubt when we are praying. When we pray, we must believe, otherwise doubt would put us out. We would not be able to receive any blessing or receive the answer if we doubt that God is able to deliver just as he has promised. So today as we go forward, let us go forward believing that just as God has promised, he will deliver. He has never failed us yet and he will never fail us now. Let us pray. Thank you, dear Father, for the wonderful promises you have made. The fact that you have told us to believe that we would have received. Help us to remember the, the conditionalities involved in praying. And one of it is that we cannot doubt. One of it is that we must believe. Help us to believe because you have promised and we can trust in your promise. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.